Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Saints and Sinners is a game unlike any other in the Walking Dead universe. Every challenge you face and decision you make is driven by you. Fight the undead. Scavenge through the flooded ruins of New Orleans and face gut-wrenching choices for you and the other survivors. Live the Walking Dead. Anyway, guys, I didn't get a key for this game um, because, as you know, I'm too real for game developers. Uh, I tell you only the truth and nothing but the truth. Um, and I never take your damn bribes or sponsorships, you fucking utter, utter game developers who think that you could ever buy me off. I will tell you the truth, no matter what. Anyway, uh, speaking of no sponsorships, if you check out Green Man Gaming in the link below, you'll get a, a discount on your game and I get commission for um, any game purchased. As I'm uh, too real for this, this game was graciously donated by Heads Grow Back. He actually gifted the game to me a few weeks back, and I was a little busy, so I wasn't able to play it until recently. So, thank you, Heads Grow Back. Uh, he contributes a lot to my channel, and I'm grateful for everyone who donates, everyone who gives me money uh, so I can buy my new house, and all the great things that come with being a YouTuber. People like Heads, and like Maltor, and Lex, and a lot of the major uh, donators and subscribers to my channels. I do things every once in a while to show my how grateful I am for them. Like with Heads, I made him a character in Wastelands, as well as a couple of other of my uh, lovely patrons. And, uh, you know, he was just a character. There wasn't anything I did with his character that, uh, you know... I just made a character in Wasteland. There wasn't anything funny. <laughs> wasn't anything funny uh, I did with his character in uh, Wastelands. Now, Mac, Mac, get back on with it. Get back on with it, Mac. Uh, so, Heads Grow Back also donated some late game footage because my headset broke while I was playing this game. It actually broke. It broke in the tutorial, guys. It did. It broke in the tutorial. But don't worry. I've, I, I've gotten enough out of the game to make an honest review after not leaving the tutorial area. As you know, I'm very good at judging a game from the first, you know, hour or so, even if I haven't left the tutorial area like uh, Witcher 3, and nothing went wrong with my Witcher 3 review, and nobody was ever upset with my channel after that. And I, I still don't get uh, death threats and terrible, terrible messages from that review. But anyway, so we'll start with the graphic settings. There are none that I know of, because I never checked them. I was, I was, I was too scared. I was too fucking scared, guys. I was already worried about zombies in the main menu, because I don't know if you know this, but the main menu is the open world. You get to look around and see buildings and broken cars and all kinds of stuff. And and I just thought a zombie's gonna come behind me and eat my brains, and and it's gonna be shambling up, going, bruh, bruh, Mac, I'm gonna eat your brains. I'm gonna eat your brains. Anyway, anyway. So, on starting the game, you get to choose between being a man or a woman. You know, so decision and choice there, equality and whatnot. And you can actually choose whether or not to be black or white. It is, it's a wonderful uh, progressive, you know, movement. And you know I am in full support of that. Now, on with the gameplay. The game is immersive, guys. It's so immersive. It, it's so incredibly immersive that it's absolutely terrifying. It's terrifying, guys. It's, you're there. You, If you don't have a PC headset, you have no idea what you're getting into. It is so immersive. You are there, and the zombies are in front of your face. Fucking console game. <sighs> Grab a flashlight. <gasps> flashlight. Charge it by shaking it. Oh, guys, it's going to give me a heart attack. Uh... Guys, I'm in a big room. Guys, I'm in a big room and I can't see a thing. I can't, I can't see. Guys, I, I'm in a big room. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. I don't know.
know if I can do this, guys. Time for some combat. No, no, no combat. It's it's unbelievable, guys. I haven't seen anything like this, and 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 it's 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 crazy. It's unbelievable, guys. And as you know, I don't like zombies. I just don't. Zombies are are the scariest thing. Not this, not this new age. This new age zombies are running and running and climbing on each other. No, 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 no. The shamblers. The shamblers, guys. The shamblers are scary. Because those are actual, actual, actual dead bodies. Dead bodies, guys, and they're coming after you. It's, it's terrifying. And I've been scared of that because when I was 12 years old in 1968, we went to see Night of the Living Dead in theaters, guys. In a theater. You can't do that nowadays, guys, because of the whole, uh, <clears throat> the whole situation going on. But, uh, we went to the theater and saw Night of the Living Dead. 1968. I was 12 years old. And it scared the piss out of me. It really did. It scared me to death. And, uh, I know a lot of you have been asking, uh, where's Rabbit? Uh, you haven't seen Rabbit in a long time. And, uh, that's because I tried showing him. Night of the Living Dead. I did. And, uh, well, it, it's best if you see. It's just, it's just best if you see. I'm afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. It's okay, Rabbit. Oh, don't be scared. Coming to get you, Barbara. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're coming for you, Barbara. Oh, don't close your eyes, you stupid Stop. prick. You utter, utter stupid prick. One of them now. Oh, don't close your eyes. I'm getting out of it. Look, 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 look. Rabbit? Rabbit! What's happening? Rabbit! Oh no! Rabbit! Oh god! You poor thing! Oh no! He's having a heart attack! He's having a... He's having a heart attack! It's okay! It's okay, Rabbit! I got you! I got you, Rabbit! Oh! Where's me car? Where's me car? It's okay, Rabbit! Oh no! Oh no! No! Ah, ah, no! Don't take him! No! Rabbit! Rabbit! No! No, Rabbit! Are oh, you utter, utter! No! 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 No, Rabbit! Alright, guys, so what can you do in this game? Well, you can uh, kill zombies. You know, the whole point of The Walking Dead is you kill zombies and be a badass. You can use guns, knives, and axes, and that's all I saw. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything else to kill zombies with, really. You know, since I, I played enough of the game to know what's going on, that you, you can't really do anything else. Uh, so it's, it's just guns, knives, and axes. Very, very little uh, uh, options there. The zombies, however, you have to stab them, uh, th like, hard. You can't just like in VR get your knife close to them and, and it'll stab them automatically. No, you have to you have to actually ram it in. And sometimes it gets stuck. It gets stuck in their skull and you have to push it farther. And you feel their their skull just caving in. Oh, it's so satisfying, guys. It's just satisfying. Oh. Anyway, um the, the, but now we're going to get on to uh, the worst part of the game in my opinion, and that is that the zombies can grab you. Yes, uh, this is actually where my headset broke. A uh, zombie grabbed me, and somehow my headset actually broke on me. And, uh, yeah, you can actually see the footage here of the headset actually breaking on me. It was great fun. Somebody called the police on us. We had to run from them. And you wouldn't imagine, we were just fucking, we were running with our pants half down, pissing all over the place. Oh, them were the days. Them were the days, guys. Well, can we just, can, can we just sit here and talk? Can we just talk, guys? I don't wanna... I don't wanna go past this. Oh... That's right. Man. You get none of that nowadays. You just don't. Okay, guys. Alright, I'm gonna go past him. Here's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna walk in real life. I have... My wall is right here. And I'm going to get close. And then I'm going to get close enough where instead of in the game, in real life, I'm gonna run across. And if I'm fast enough, it might not grab me. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> you know, we could play something else. We could... Ah, oh, okay, here we go. All right. Move it, you prick! Guys, I threw me headset. <laughs> I had to throw. Guys, I can't see. I can't see. Guys, I fucking, I fucking can't see in my headset. I can't see in my headset, guys. I think it's broke. I think my headset's broke. I get, I can hear them. I can hear the zombies. I can hear them in the headset, but I can't. The screen's not working, guys. The screen's not fucking working! What the fuck? Oculus, you fucking cheap bastards! Yeah, yeah, Facebook. Making this crappy headset that just breaks for no reason. I can't use my headset anymore. Fucking Facebook. What are you thinking? No, I'm switching to the Valve Index now. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to the Valve Index. Uh, because I'm not dealing with Facebook anymore. It's just, it's just fucking terrible. So what do I think, guys? So what do I think? Um, it's immersive. Um, it, it's very short. I only I only played about 15 minutes, and and that's that's a very short amount of time, guys. Um, so that's that's a terrible thing. Um, it's very short, and there's zombies in it, guys. There's just zombies, and you know I don't like zombies, so it's gonna have to be a thumbs down for me, guys. Um, anyway, thanks to Heads Grow Back for gifting the game to me, you know, gifting subs to my, to my stuff and my Twitch and giving money to me on Patreon and, uh, um, you know, thanks, uh, for providing the late game footage for this. Um, and, you know, because he's done all these wonderful things for me and helped support my channel, um, I made a character for him in Wastelands and, uh, he fucked a goat, guys. <laughs>